Hi everyone, my name is Miss Alana and today's class is going to be hip hop, recommended for ages four through seven. All you need for today's class is a little bit of space to move, your comfy clothes, and a pair of tennis shoes or your bare feet. As always, your safety is incredibly important to us, so if something hurts you, please stop and feel free to cater this class towards your personal needs or your level. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is some stretching because we need to make sure our body is super warm and ready to move. So go ahead and sit down on the ground and put your legs out to the side as far as they can go to where your knees are nice and straight. If you're finding that your knees are bent, just go back a little bit and it can help you to straighten your knees. So with this stretching, we are going to make a piece of pizza. I want everyone to grab your rolling pin and start to roll out your legs. This is going to be the crust of our pizza. Ooh, make sure you get each side lots of times and go all the way to the end. We want our piece of pizza to be really big. Now let's go down the middle. Really stretch out that dough. Make sure it's nice and ready for all of the yummy toppings we're gonna put on. Ooh, my piece of pizza looks huge. What about your piece of pizza? I think we're ready to add some pizza sauce. So grab your can of pizza sauce, pour it on the pizza, and now we gotta spread it all around. Make sure you reach the far corners of your pizza and all the way down the middle. Good job. Now it's time to add some cheese to our pizza. So grab your grater and your piece of cheese and we're gonna grate some cheese all around the pizza. I want my pizza to be really cheesy. So make sure you get a lot of cheese on there. Maybe we'll put some cheese on the crust and we'll have a cheesy crust. Ooh, this is starting to look yummy. Sprinkle the last little pieces of cheese on there. Okay, I think we're ready for toppings. The first topping that I want to add to my pizza is some pepperoni. So will you help me count out 10 pepperonis to put on my pizza? Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's a lot of pepperoni. Did you put ten pepperonis on your pizza too? It looks really good. Okay, I think the next topping that I want to add are some onions. Will you help me cut up some onions? Grab your knife and your onion. Here we go. Chop it into really small pieces. We don't want a too big of a chunk. Good, okay. Sprinkle them all over. Make sure you get all the little corners. Good job. Check and see if your knees are straight. Sometimes they like to creep up, but we gotta keep them straight the whole time. We don't wanna break our pizza crust. Now the last topping that I think I want to add are some pineapple slices. So, got my can of pineapple and I'm gonna shake it all on the pizza. Shake it, shake it, shake it, and spread them out. Make sure there's some pineapple everywhere and I didn't miss any spots. Now what I want you to do is add your favorite pizza topping onto your pizza. So grab your favorite pizza topping, shake it on there, Spread it around. Make sure you get it everywhere because it's your favorite. So keep spreading, spreading, spreading. Wow, my pizza looks really good. How about your pizza? I think it's time to bake it in the oven. So open up your oven and we're gonna slide it in for 10 seconds. Ready? Help me count. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, ding! The pizza's done! Try your piece of pizza, is it good? Oh, mine was delicious. I'm full after that, but now my legs and my muscles feel nice and stretched. Do your legs feel stretched too? I think it's time.
time to do some isolations. Here we go. Next, we're gonna practice our isolations. Isolations is where we move one body part at a time. So I want you to stand with your feet a little bit apart and make sure your toes are facing to the front. So my toes face you, your toes face me. Check and make sure. I think we're good. So now, I'm gonna show you the little isolation combination that we're gonna do. And then we're gonna do it all together. So we're gonna start by moving our head up and down, up and down. We're gonna do this a couple times. Then we're gonna move our head side to side. And we're gonna do that a couple times. Make sure you're not moving any other body part, just your head. Next, we're gonna move our shoulders up and down, up and down, up and down. See how super high up and super far down you can move your shoulders. Oh, we're gonna do that lots of times. And then the next thing we're gonna move is our hips. So our hips are gonna go side, 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 lots of times. And then we're gonna do some jumping. So put your hands on your hips, we're gonna jump open, jump close, jump open, jump close, jump open, jump close, open and close. We're gonna do that lots of times. That gets your heart rate going and it gets your whole body feeling nice and warm. Then after that, we're gonna come back to opening our feet a little bit and we're gonna do some stretching, but you can follow along with me for the stretching, so don't worry. If you want to do this isolation combination to the song that we usually do it in hip hop class, I'm gonna put the name of the song on the screen right here. But for this video, I'm just gonna play a super fun song and we can all do the combination together. Ready? Here we go. Make sure your feet are spread apart and your toes are facing to the front. Once we get to 10, 
you have to freeze and hit a pose, okay? I can count to 10 really fast, I can count to 10 really slow, I can count to 10 really silly, but as soon as we get to 10, you have to freeze. Got it? All right, I wanna see your dancing, here we go. One, two,
looks like this. We open our arms and cross our feet over, and our arms just get to swing while we cross touch our feet over the other foot. <clears throat> Excuse me, right in front of you. Good, and we're gonna do it eight times. So let's count it out, ready? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, very good. And then the last little part that comes after that, we put our feet together and we do a bounce, touch our heel, bounce, touch our heel. So you're gonna switch your feet, bounce feet together, touch your heel, bounce feet together, touch your other heel. We're gonna also do this step eight times. So let's count it out. Here we go, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good, everyone. Now let's try putting all of those things together. Are you ready? Here we go. We have step together, step together, step together, step together, and bounce, and bounce. Cross your arms, nod your head again. Step together, step together, step together, step together, and bounce, and bounce. Cross your arms, nod your head. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. You guys just learned our whole hip hop combination. Very good job. Should we try it with some music? If you want to do it to the music that we were practicing with in class, I'm gonna put the music on the screen right here. But for this video, I'm gonna find another fun piece of music. Ready to try it all together? Here we go. joining me today. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. Feel free to repeat this video over again on another day if you want to have more hip-hop fun. As always at Keshet, we love you and appreciate you and we hope you're staying happy and healthy over this break. Bye! Hope to see you again soon.